Unity tutorial number three, I think. So we are going to go to um, uh, fine tune the way that a component affects a game object by setting values on the component. So in the uh, earlier uh, previous tutorial, we are um, um, putting uh, uh, components, uh, which is I think rigid body on the game object. Right. Basically, we are putting a character or personalities on that particular uh, game objects. So right now we are setting a values. Remember, uh, basically, uh, under uh, inspector over here, the window, you can uh, put a physicality or uh, physics on a particular game objects like the, uh, the mass, the, the gravity, the acceleration and so forth. So right now we are trying to set those values. OK. So in this tutorial, we will learn how to set values on components. We will use that knowledge to fix problems in another level of our game. OK, so we're going to enter play mode right now, which is basically uh, like a, a trial mode. Right. OK, so we are moving um, this guy here down here to the red square. Okay. And then Okay, and then we are exiting play mode. So I don't know what is this guy doing. <laughs> it's like having an ADSD agitated. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Like running back and forth, back and forth, whatever. What if what if I go here? Am I dead? Oh, I'm dead. So this is like a bodyguard, probably. This guy is like a bodyguard. Yeah. So if I like. Oh, okay. Let me see. Let me try one more time. What's going to happen? One, two, three. Yes. Oh, gosh. I'm still dead. One more time. Ah, uh, oh, you're dead. That's cheating because I didn't, I didn't think I, I was like crushed by that guy. Anyway, so I'm exiting. So I, I think that's why we are trying to solve this. I think that's not supposed to be like that, right? So we're exiting uh, play mode, and then uh, we are selecting the enemy game object. Um. Where is the enemy game object? Yeah, that one. Yeah. You can see here, I don't know if you can see it, it's like there's an arrow, the green and red arrow, and the blue. Okay. So if I highlighted something else, it will disappear. There's nothing. I'll highlight that enemy game object, it will highlight that one. So which means it's already selected. Next. Uh, so we are looking at the inspector here. So. And then we are setting the uh, nav mass agent speed to one. So this, I think, to modify how fast that guy go back and forth. Okay. So the nav mass agent component is part of the Unity's built-in AI. Oh, that's interesting. Wow, this is interesting. That's an AI built-in. Okay. When a game object has a nav mass agent component, that game object can use AI to find its way around an environment. Oh, wow. That's cool. When we set the speed value on a nav mass agent component, we change the speed that the game object move around the environment. OK, that's what I thought. Now we're entering play mode again. We're going to see the changes. And then move to the red square. Oh, now it's so much slower. See that guy? It's like there's something like underneath his feet. It's like moving so slow. <sighs> oh my gosh, he's moving so slow. Oh, help me, help me. OK. OK, let's see if I can still like. Uh, 
Let's see if I can still beat this guy. Oh, I'm dead. Ah! Okay. Move to the green triangle marker. What? Okay, I think there is something. It's too fast, I think. See? Doesn't work. Ah, doesn't work. <laughs> it's too fast. I think we have to adjust the speed. Okay, we're exiting the play mode. This is fun. Next, and then select the under the hierarchy here where we can uh, select the uh, the game objects or you you can select it directly by just uh under the scene but just by clicking remember there's two ways to select game object right so select the automatic doors where is the automatic doors here so you can see there's an arrow again it's being selected next and then set the door time until close to 10. Well, now it's 0.4, so we have, we want to delay. We want to make it really slow, because set the door time until close. Okay. Okay. The door component is not part of any um, Unity's built-in system. It was made specially for this example game. We can make our own custom component that do anything we like by writing code. Ooh. We will look at writing code in later tutorials. This is interesting. We are going to learn how to program. Guys, this is interesting. Okay, so, okay, the door component is not part of the Unity Build-in system. Right, we can make, uh, it's make our own custom component and, and that do anything we like by writing code. Okay, next. Okay, now we are adding play mode. Now it should be really slow, right? Move the that square. Move. Yeah. Ooh. There you go. Well done. Okay. So we did it. In this tutorial, we learn we use the inspector window which is this guy here to change the values on the components right and then that components can be built in to, to unity so it's some some of them are already built in it's already like unity uh, build it for us or some of them uh, is a, our cu own custom uh, component how do we uh, make our own custom custom component is by writing a code so that's all tutorial uh, number three uh, i hope you enjoy this tutorial uh, leave the comments on the uh, on, on below uh, leave me any notes if you have any questions if you have, want to see something else different but i'm just planning to do this tutorial step by step uh, basically following the, uh, the 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 tutorial from unity i just want to walk you through okay i'm not being paid by unity uh, for this i'm just um, doing this because uh, uh, just for fun and i i like uh, and it's meaningful for me because I, I believe in the power of um, uh, uh, technology, especially in the virtual reality or in in, in game to to make uh, a a better world. So make basically to to uh, to, to to make a better person, right? Uh, I I see there's already news that uh, people who are already like uh, for people who are like uh, uh, like in hospital or people who are elderly uh, who's uh, like dying because of cancer and then they put a uh, virtual reality on, on, on a samsung gear or oculus and they put because they want to have a, a wish uh, to travel around the world but since they are sick they're just like bedridden they cannot do it so what this like uh, caretaker do is just put the vr in front of their um, uh, head and they can actually travel around the world you can just google it right and they they are so happy because of that because they um, because it, it, it's like real is I think it's a collaboration between like uh, I'm not sure 
with Unity or with Oculus or with uh, either, but uh, with uh, Google Earth. So it, they travel basically in virtual reality world, world using Google Earth to anywhere in the world. That is so amazing and they're just so happy. So that's just one of the example. There's so many, uh, I think it's gonna be um, really exciting new world for the virtual reality. It's gonna unlock new use cases and uh, that I could never think of, right? So just stay tuned for uh, next tutorial. Thank you for watching this. See you next time.